So my name is uh, Edwin Wrighton Carter. I was born in Holloway, London, in 1899. I was the uh, youngest child and only son of Wrighton Carter. I was very disappointed that when the war started, I was only a young lad of 15. I so wanted to join up and do my bit for king and country. So in 1916, when the war didn't end in Christmas 1914, like we were told, I uh, went with my father, because I had just turned 17, I went with my father to sign up in Cricklewood, where we lived in London. So we went down and he signed for me. And the recruiting sergeant said to me, oh, well, my son, uh, uh, what would you like to join? And I said, oh, I'd, I'd like to join the cavalry, please. And so I signed up. He said, have you got any skills? I said, well, I'm musical. He said, uh, excellent, we need trumpeters. And so I became trumpeter Edwin Wrighton Carter of the first King Edward's horse. I was sent off for training, immediately boarding a ship, but not heading for the front in France. We went to Ireland. I ended up in a place called the Curra in County Kildare, where all the cavalry regiments went. And so I was there in April 1916, when we got word that there'd been trouble in Dublin, some sort of rebellion. So we were mobilized and sent to Athlone to guard some artillery pieces in case the rebels got their hand on them, but nothing happened. We didn't see anything and, and we continued with our training. After months of training in Ireland, I finally got a pass to go home and see my parents in London. And so I left the Cara, went by train to Dublin, Dublin to Dundalk, Dundalk to Green Ore. I was to get the SS Connemara, travel with the London Northwestern Railway to Hollyhead and on to Euston in London. I must say I was apprehensive that night. The storm was terrible. I'd never traveled on a ship in such a storm. But one old soldier said to me, oh, you'll be all right, Sonny. It's, it's fine. This ship has traveled this many times and there's never been any problems. And so we set off from Green Oil just after eight o'clock on the Friday night, the 3rd of November. The storm was terrible. And as we got beyond the Holbeline lighthouse, the storm seemed to be even worse. The last thing I remember down below, it was very dark and the next thing I heard, a, a a crunch of metal, seawater came pouring in, steam was all around me, and I remember no more. Apparently, it was several weeks before my body was washed up on shore. I was recovered late, according to the official record of the London Northwestern Railway. My parents were devastated. They agreed that rather than bringing my remains home, that I should be buried where I was found. And so I was buried in a grave in Holy Trinity Church in Carlingford. My parents declined the offer of a Commonwealth War Grave headstone and put up their own marble cross and surround on the grave and put lead lettering on it to commemorate me. And there I lay, my parents died, my sisters died, my family had forgotten about me. In 2012, the 96th commemoration of the sinking of the Connemara and Retriever, two gentlemen had a chance meeting. One was an avid historian from Warren Point, who was really interested in the story of the ship The other was a gentleman from Downpatrick. The gentleman from Downpatrick told a story about a daughter of his who lived in England. He was married to a chap. And this chap said that their next door neighbor had an interesting story. So Mr. Dickinson talked to this 
chap from Down Patrick's daughter, and said, oh, my uncle died in Ireland on board a ship. Chap from Warren Point was intrigued with the story, and he said to the chap from Down Patrick, and what was the name of this soldier? And he said, oh, his name was Edwin Wrighton Carter, but we don't know where he's buried. The chap from Warren Point said, oh, I'll take you to his grave right now. And so they went to Carlingford. The chap from Down Patrick couldn't believe the story. He was on the phone immediately to my nephew in London, Mr. Dickinson, immediately telling him the story that the grave had been found. By 2013, plans were made to restore my grave. And by 2014, I had a new surround, new marble at the top, new cross, new lead lettering. And hopefully for the next hundred years, people will see and remember me in loving memory of Edwin Wrighton Carter, aged 17 years and seven months, trumpeter, King Edward's horse, perished in the Connemara disaster, November the 3rd, 1916.